Let's get into this tea. We about to get into story time. Stalker fan who held me hostage for my boxers. This is Safari. Let's get it. Hey, look, part of me, if I look tired, but I've been working and I've been um, putting in a lot of that work. But look, I'm just here to tell you about this 100K giveaway I'm doing. I'm doing a 100K giveaway. And um, what I'm giving away is special. It's iconic. It's a part of history. And it's something that is very... It's going to be very emotional to the tired person. First place will receive... <laughs> First place will receive $50 and... Oh my God, what is that? My iconic jean vest. Yep, my jean vest is up for grabs. All you have to do is be subscribed. Why? This memory just came and took me over, but um, I'm going to give you a little story time. Um, I got this big bottle of water because... Okay, me too. I need a drink. Yeah. This is a story. Later that night. So this was 2018. I remember it like it was yesterday. Allegedly. It was March because it was cold. I remember the day my nudes leaked. I was shocked. I was appalled. And I was like... I just felt like, damn, everybody thought I did it, but it wasn't me. Um, oh my God. It was after my nudes leaked. I was scorching, scorching, scorching. I was booked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like I was booked every weekend. I remember I had a gig. It was in Niagara Falls, but prior to that, I just felt like my support system my fan base grew way more and i just felt like my female audience they were a bit more dedicated than usual what do you mean by that like before it was like okay we know you we know who you are but uh now it's different now we are like lusting and salivating over you i had this one fan she she stood out to me more than others. Like, she would comment on everything I did. She was really going hard to show, like, her support. The craziest thing that made me just feel like, whoa, she had my name tatted, like, right here on her neck. I didn't All a woman got to do is get a nigga name tatted, and boom, they salivating over. I think it was real. Um, that ground is like I'm this. Gonna I'm gonna let you know how I found that it was real later on, and you know, she wasn't like a, a, a supporter who was saying, "Hey, I did this," and I was, you know, wanting everyone to know. It was like she did it, but she didn't make it known. Like, you know, her hair covered it, but she took she took pictures and sent it to me, and I just was like, I just was, you know, very nice to her and just very supportive and just always like, yo, you know, for me to have never met somebody and them just show how how much they're how much of a supporter they are to me i respected that and i just couldn't like you know i couldn't not be nice to this person um, i never met her before she had never met me you know uh, i had a booking in niagara falls i was excited about it it was like my first time there and you know when you go to niagara falls that's kind of the canadian border you know, and she messaged me prior to the booking and said, hey, I'm coming to this, you know, booking and I would I would love to meet you. And I'm like, of course, you know, it's it's a public venue. Come meet me. I'm going to be there. Like, you know what I'm saying? But Niagara Falls is one of those places. I ain't going to lie. This nigga taking forever, ain't he? This is that <laughs> I guess when celebrities go there, everybody stays at the exact same hotel, right? Let's speed this so, up a little bit. Like it was yesterday. Because they always say, yo, bundle up. It's cold out there. I, you know, get one of my fur coats. I'm super furred up. Packed my bags. This is when I was living in New Jersey. Me and my security caught our flight, flew in, I landed, promoted they meet us, the car services, all of that stuff. Whenever I go places and I land, I always say, hey, where is the number one place that I should eat? You hungry as shit. Where should I get oh. food? Where is the must-have go-to place to get food in your town if an out-of-towner comes here and you want them to say, wow, that place was good. They took me to the place. It was very family-owned, like some soul food kind of like vibe. 
you know, the food was good. It was super cold. I remember it was so cold. But um, we eat, me and my security, I go back to the hotel. That's when I was super, when I was just super at the time. So, you know, get to my room. And we get to the hotel, he checks me in, elevator, open up, get to my room. But some places when we go, like to hotels, there's like a card or a nice thing of chocolate on like the bed or on the desk or something of the hotel saying, hey. Definitely support. deserves a speed up because we still talking slow on the speed up. Okay. All right, we're so glad to have you, blah, blah, blah. But this time, you know, I opened the door and I seen like a little fruit arrangement. Oh, that scared me. I get in the room, I see the fruit stuff and all that. And usually I don't eat fruit and stuff like that if I don't see where it came from. So I'm like, all right, I appreciate it though. And then it said, hey, welcome to Niagara Falls. So happy to have you. Hope Let you have an amazing out. night. XOXO. I'm like, okay. Didn't think nothing of it. I lay down, I'm relaxing, just watching TV. My security tells me, hey, I'm gonna go to the venue, I'm gonna do a walkthrough, I'm gonna make sure everything is the way it needs to be, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna see where we're going in, where we're going out. And I'm like, all right, cool. He goes. What's up, y'all? I gotta film it. And this was like around 7 p.m. I didn't have to be at the venue until like around 11 30, 12. So I take a nap, I get up, take a shower again, coconut oil, brush up, boom, 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 get ready. Get fly, I go to the venue. I pull up, I'm in my car, and anytime when I'm booked to go to venues in other cities and stuff, I always like, you know, say a prayer and I just, you know, just want to feel protected because it's like, it's a job, but at the same time, I'm yeah, we definitely getting into DJ Star today. As y'all can see, I am on a multitasking rampage right now, but I got y'all. It's so many different energies. Y'all probably can't see it. Y'all probably think I'm over here like doing this briskly, just smoothly, professionally, which I am. I'm a professional. It's a lot though. I got y'all though. There and all of that, you know? So I'm like, you know, I pull Make up. it look easy. Whenever I pull up, the club security, all that, they all come, everyone surrounds the car, everyone's waiting for me to get out. I get out the car, they walk me in through the back kitchen, they bring me into a spot and then the spot kind of was like in the club but no one knew Friend, what it was. I already did the video. I'm about to make the thumbnail but I'll be done with all that before he even get the damn story. We haven't even gotten to the story yet. Hello. But here we are. I digress. I was in the club, and it was like, oh, you can just chill here for a while. And I, was, I hate when people book me, and they just put me in a corner somewhere and kind of like try to hide me and then wait. I'm like, yo, put me in the mix. I'm going to be here for an hour. Let me, you know, let me get to it. I'm not one of those people who, when I get to my venues, I sit there, ignore everybody, and just drink. As soon as I get there, I'm taking pictures. We robbing. It's What's lit. up, y'all? got to film the so, feed, so let's um, get into this tea. Weird little fact, duck off know. area where they try to keep me. We about to get into. waiting for more people to come. Okay, cool. The crowd gets where they wanted to get. They finally say, okay, we're going to bring you to your section. They bring me to the section. And I see there's a lot of people there. You know, the energy is lit. Everyone's cell phones is out. Everyone wants pictures, hugs. Girls are screaming and all of that. And, you know, I'm there. I'm vibing. I'm taking pictures. I'm pouring out shots for the girls and all of that. And then um, I see, I just see someone looking at me. And they're looking at me like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, it was kind of <laughs> dark. And then I'm looking. I'm like, why does she look so familiar? But I just was like, all right, I didn't really think nothing of it. So I'm still vibing, taking the pictures or whatever. And then... She just was standing there like a statue, right? I guess when she finally decided to say, hey, let me move up and come and let him know I'm here and I want to take a picture, I'm like, okay. So the girl comes up to me and she's like, it's me, it's me. So I'm like, what do you mean it's me? She was like, and then she said like the name, but it was a different name and a different picture from what I was used to seeing. You know, she never really showed her face and stuff like that. And then she pulled her hair back and showed me the tattoo. And I was like, oh, I'm like, this is the fan. But she looked very different. She just started like crying, shaking. She was hyperventilating. You know, we telling her, yo, sit down. I'm like, yo, come, you sit with me tonight. And she's just there, like shaking, tripping. And then my security's like, boy, if you don't. We giving her a drink, <laughs> giving her water, making sure she good. She get up and then she finally kind of composes herself. She was crying and all of that. And I'm like, yo, like, I'm like, let's take a picture. But I'm like, don't be crying in the picture. Like, let it be a good picture so that when you have it, you can look back at it later. It'll look good and all of that. And she gets herself together, finally take a picture. And I'm just being nice. We just vibing them, like, just let her know. I'm like, yo, like, I'm human just like you. Uh, and I'm like, yo, I, I always I, tell y'all when y'all see me, treat me like a cousin or something. I ain't, come on now. All that, oh my God. I'm so, I don't, stop. We the same people. My titties just might be a little bigger. That's about it. I don't know. Appreciate the support and the way you, you ride for me. And, you know, I have certain people who support me and, Anytime people, you know, come for me and try to hate in the comments and all of that, they be in the comments fighting and all of that. But, you know, the night is coming to an end. I don't really drink when I go out to my bookings like that, you know what I'm saying? I have my man Rex with me. So I'm, I am I let her know. I'm like, hey, you know, I got to leave now. And she's just looking at me. She's like, okay, okay. I'm like, all right. I was like, yo, nice meeting you. I was like, love you. Thank you for everything. Boom. I leave. I go in the truck. 
we drive, trying to get me some food again. And I'm like, bro, it's one, two in the morning. I don't want any food. We get to my hotel. My security walks me to my door. He puts me in whatever, you know, lock up. His door's room is always like right across from mine so he can see my door. And then I take a shower, I change or whatever. And usually when I go places, my security, he has a key. But then I still deadbolt and lock the door. Okay. door and all of that. And probably like an hour into me being there, I hear a knock. I hear the knock. It's a light tap. And I'm like, what the hell? Because I just was up looking at my phone. So I go and look through the peephole and it's the girl. I'm like, oh. my heart is pounding <laughs> because I'm like, okay, this feels crazy. So I call my security and I'm like, yo, bro, she is at the door. He's like, what do you mean? She? I said, bro, you don't hear the knock? And he goes, he looks. He opens his door, and then I'm behind the door, I'm looking through the people. He's like, yo, what's up, you good? She was like, yeah, I just wanted to say say something to Safari. No, ma'am. No. No, ma'am. Leave. Go. Leave me alone. No, ma'am. She's there in a robe. Like, she's staying in the hotel. He's like, yo, are you staying in the hotel? She was like, yeah, I'm staying here. Her, her room was one room over from mine. I don't oh, know. Oh, no. Oh, no. How? I don't know if this was a uh, 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 ironic chance, but it was. She said, I just wanted to make sure you got the fruit I sent up earlier. A trip, like. And I said, what? Because I had opened the door finally. And then I'm like, yo, what's up? And then she said that. She said, I just want to make sure you got the fruit. I said, look, I ain't going to lie. I said, you coming to my door is a little. She was like. Friend, I've been trying to get into this drama. But girl, I ain't know where to start. This Naima and all them. Yeah, I didn't know how to get into this drama. I, 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 aren't I a little late? I don't think you understand. I can't believe you're in front of me. She was like, please, I just wanna, I just wanna sit and talk, uh, talk to you, please, can I come in? I was like, look, I said, there's too much craziness. I was like, like, for your safety and mine, I don't think that's a good idea. She said, if you don't let me in your room, I'm going to do the worst thing I could do to myself. And the look in her eye, I believed it. <laughs> she was not s s joking. She said, Safari, if you don't talk to me, you'll never hear from me. I don't again. know who Grip family. family. Yo, my heart started pounding. I'm looking at my security, I was like, I said, come on. What? That nigga's tripping. We go in my security's room and I tell my security, I said, bro, turn on your phone camera and record everything. Leave this thing on recording. And she's sitting there and she's just like, I think about you so much. I love you so much. I pray for you. I pray about you. I pray to be with you. I don't know if that could ever happen, but I just want you to know how in love I am with you. And I'm looking and I'm so scared for her because her tone, the look in her eyes, oh my goodness. If looks could kill, I'm like, yo, I don't, I said, please, I said, I want you to know, I care about you, I appreciate you, and I said, your family does too. I said, I would never want you to hurt yourself. She was like, you don't mean that. I was like, of <laughs> course I mean that. I was like, come on. I was like, I'm here talking to you. Like I said, I could have never opened the door. I said, I care about you. Don't talk about you not ever being here or your family being here. And she just looked at me and she was like, she smiled and I'm like, the smile looked so sinister. It looked so like, and then she just was like, I know you think I'm crazy. Yup, 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 <laughs> yup, yup. She was like, a lot of people do. And she was by herself. I was like, yo, I said, how did you know what hotel I was at? How, how did you know? Like, she just was like, we're connected. She was like, I know everything about you. Yo, I said, where's your family? Where's your friends? I was like, I want to make sure you're good. She said, it doesn't matter. I was like, yo, you are making me feel a little uneasy. And I, I was like, I don't want you to be talking like you're going to do something because of me not being able to, you know, interact with you. And she was like, could I have your number? She was like, can I sleep no. in your room? And she was dead serious. She was like asking for like underwear. She was like, do you have some underwear or socks? She was like, I swear, if you give me one of your underwear or socks, I will not bother you. I will never, ever bother you. She was like, I won't. And I'm like, you can get the fuck up out of here with that bullshit. Get off the motherfucking mic. She was dead serious. <laughs> she was like, please, I just, she was like, I want one of your underwear. And she was like, I want oh, underwear that you wore. I want your worn underwear. No, man, take them off. No way. Just take them off. Leave her. <laughs> just take off your clothes. Just take them off. Yo, just stay right here. So I leave her in the room with my security. I go to my room. I had the underwear I took off after I showered. This, hmm. I came out with it. I put it in a rag. I stood outside in the hallway and I said, yo, they heard me. They came out. I said, look, if I give this to you, I want you to go to your room. I'm going to masturbate. I was like, like, I appreciate you. You're loving and supporting me. But I was like, this is, you know, a little uneasy. And she was like, do you have it? Do you have it? She was like, is that, is that the underwear? I was like, I'm going to give it to you. I was like, but I need you to promise me that you're not going to be so, you know, acting the way you're acting. She was like, I promise, I promise, I promise. I give her the rag. She's shaking. She's trembling. She's like this. You did not even know these men. Man, hell no. 
it. Smells it. And she's like sniffing and sniffing. Not on like, some dirty drawers. Thank you. Thank you. She starts crying. And then she comes to like hug me. And then my security puts his hand on her. And she's like, please, just let me hug him. And I, I hug her. And her heart is pounding so hard. I let her go. She's sniffing the underwear. And she said, thank you. She said, I will forever cherish this. And I will forever cherish this moment. And I will never, ever make you feel uncomfortable ever again. Thank you so much. And she was like this. <laughs> I did not sleep that night. That has got to be the most insane experience I've ever I had. I would have left. First of all, I'm in a room by myself looking on my phone. Uh, oh, oh. <clears throat> oh, hell no. This shout from the goddamn, mm-mm. What's going on? Oh, I just wanted to, how did you find my room? Oh, I just wanted to, mm -hmm. uh, do me a favor, get the hell from in front of my door. Let's, let's start there. If you don't come to me, I'm gonna pew pew myself. I wouldn't even hurt her cause I would have walked off and been back in my bed. <laughs> And had she continued, I ain't gonna cap you down. I just would have left. <laughs> Baby, new hotel, me. I am out of here. Okay? Because how the hell you know where my room at? That's some scary shit. With someone who says they are a fan or a supporter of me. After that, she was getting deep. I was getting pictures of her with the underwear. She was like, I will never watch this. Your scent. Like, I don't know what happened to her. I haven't heard from her. Like, she just, I just stopped hearing from her. But that, I would have to say, is craziest experience with a fan, a supporter, whatever you want to call it. I will never forget it. She was not from Niagara Falls, but it happened in Niagara Falls. I guess she wanted some Niagara draws to smell balls, have it deep like halls, making 911 calls. Hopefully nobody falls. Oh, if you don't I don't know why. I just feel like sharing that with y'all. <laughs> <sighs> Damn, that took me down memory lane. I'm out. Good night. I'm disgusted. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Would you have shared your draws that your balls was just in and that you didn't, you didn't wash? I want to know. Oh, oh. My food is at the door. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.